back in colonial times, the richest, most successful person in the town that is now Concord was a guy named Colonel Benjamin Rolfe. Colonel Rolfe came to the town from Newbury, Massachusetts about 1730, had a Harvard education, was well connected to the powers that be in Massachusetts, became the clerk of the proprietary for the town, which was then called the Plantation of Pennycook. In February of 1734, the plantation became a town and took the name Rumford, which is a town in East London on the River Rom. The name comes from a wide, shallow ford that was used there. Here in New Hampshire, the spelling of Rom Ford, River Rom and the ford, was changed to Rum Ford, R U M F O R D. This time, Colonel Rolfe was the town clerk. He was also the head of the militia, speculated in land, invested in business, and he had become the richest man in this town. But all this time, Colonel Rolfe lived in a very simple house, a very Spartan place, and he never married. And then in 1764, the colonel decided to spend some of his money, and he built the grandest house in town. He used to sit right over there. And he went looking, or he became convinced that it was time to get a bride. He was 60 years old. The woman he chose was Sarah the eldest daughter of the Reverend Timothy Walker. She was 30 years old. So he was 60, she was 30. No kids, no surprise. Colonel only lived a couple of years after the nuptials, but she left Sarah a very, very rich widow. Now, she was a catch, and sure enough, a 19-year-old schoolmaster moved into Rumford, up from Woodin, Massachusetts. The young man was quick and intelligent. He wrote and he spoke well. He was clever, and it didn't hurt that he was also extremely handsome. He had moved here on the invitation of a friend, Timothy Walker, Jr., who happened to be the son of the local minister and, of course, the brother of the widow, Rolf. And in three years, you got it, the schoolmaster had married the widow and moved into this beautiful mansion, and he had become the richest man in town. The schoolmaster's name was, yes, Benjamin Thompson. He would later abandon his family and moved to Europe where he would become one of the most important men of his generation and he would call himself Count Rumford after his old hometown. By the way, the mansion torn down about 1955 make way for a grocery store. <laughs>